Welcome to Gray and Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a set of rectangles, green, yellow, blue, which is the unknown in a lavender rectangle. The green rectangle is 36 square units, the yellow is 53, and the lavender is 31, while the blue rectangle is unknown. And the combined height of this yellow and the blue is 10 and the length of this green rectangle is 4.8 and we are asked to calculate the area of the blue rectangle okay so first thing that we have to do is we need to focus on this yellow and the blue rectangle as you can see it is given that their combined width is actually 10 and for its counterpart this is the counterpart length okay. and we need to actually get this length the combined width of this blue and lavender rectangle and to get that we are to get this distance from this area divided by this length 4.8 okay so let us call that as with one so w1 is equal to 36 over 4.8 and w1 is equal to 7.5 units okay so next thing is we label this length of this blue rectangle the unknown let us label this length as b and the width as a and with that we can say that the area that we are looking for from that representation is a b or a times b square unit okay so next thing that we have to do is we need to focus on this yellow and the blue rectangle so to make an equation about that we can say that the whole area is equal to the total length which is b and multiplied by the height which is 10 so 10 b is equal to the sum of its parts and the parts are 53 and plus a b and let this be our equation one okay so next thing we have to do is we need to focus on the two rectangles below the blue in the lavender rectangle so again we'll use the same procedure we have 7.5 times this b which is the length and the sum of its parts so the sum of its parts will be one part is 31 and the other part is a b and we call this as equation 2 okay so next is we subtract this second equation from the first equation so we have 10 b minus 7.5 b that will be 2.5 b okay and 53 minus 31 is 22 and this cancels out this becomes a b minus a b it is zero so we need to show that it is negative so we have 2.5b is equal to 22. Okay, so next is we use equation 1 and that is 10b is equal to 53 plus ab. So this 10b can be written as 2.5b times 4. So 4 times 2.5b is equal to 53 plus a b 
But earlier, we got 2.5b as 22. So 4 times 22 is equal to 53 plus AB. So we can say that AB is actually equal to 4 times 22, which is 88, minus 53. And the value of AB would be equal to 35 square units. And that is our answer. Now, thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.